Today we're going to make an animation that's going to show ease in and ease out by making a pendulum swing. So we're going to start by opening up Harmony. We're going to go to the name and we're going to put in pendulum, P-E-N-D-U-L-U-M. And then we're going to browse for our desktop and say choose. And we're going to keep everything else the same and I'm actually going to put a two at the end of this because I've already done an example. So I'm going to hit create scene. The first thing you need to do is go down to your layers palette and add a color card. Then we're going to take our color card and we're going to put it on the bottom layer. Whoops, or put our drawing up top. There we go. That's a little bit easier. Okay, then we're going to name this layer. So we're going to double click on drawing. We're going to call it path and we're going to take the line tool. We're going to make a path for our pendulum to follow. So I'm going to zoom out over here by clicking on one and then I'm going to go to my line tool. I'm going to make it a little bit thicker and I'm going to draw a line straight across and you can hold down shift so it stays straight. Don't let go of shift until you let go of your finger to make the line. Then we're going to take we're going to take this white contour editor, the white arrow. You're going to click on the middle of this and just pull it down to make an arc. All right, so that's our path. And then we're going to make our keyframes. So I'm going to choose red and I'm going to use my pencil and I'm just going to draw in, oops, I thought I chose red. Let me do it again. It's so red here, red here, red here. Okay, and then we're going to take black and we're going to do our in-betweens. We're going to do lines starting out close together. Oops. So we have one, two, three, four, five, one, and just make it symmetrical on this side, two, three, remember they're going to be closer together up here, okay? So this is pretty much where I'm going to have um, all of my poses for my pendulum, and then what I'm going to do at the top, I'm going to take red, and somewhere right above this center line, I'm going to draw an X up top because I want my pendulum, pendulum to line up in the middle of that X each time. Okay. Now, if I go to the next frame, you see that it disappears. So I want my path to stay on there for a bunch of frames. So I'm going to go down to frame 30 and I can press F5 on my keyboard or I can right click and say extend exposure. And that just means that this path is going to be extended all the way down to where I told it to at frame 30. Probably don't need that many, but that's okay. Then we're going to add another drawing layer plus drawing. We're going to call this our pendulum and say add and close. All right. And I'm going to make my pendulum blue just so it stands out from the background. And I'm going to start out with a line. And I'm going to make my line go from this X. And remember, you have to be drawing on the pendulum layer. So I'm going to go down from the X straight down. And I'm going to hold shift. Then let go. All right. If you hold, if you let go of shift before you make the line, then it kind of goes crooked on you. But don't forget that there's always an undo button right here. Or you could do command or control Z. All right. So I have a line. I'm going to make a circle and to make a perfect circle, I'm going to hold shift while I pull. And if I want to center that better, I select it with my black arrow. It's pretty centered, but you can use, you can nudge it around with your arrow keys on your keyboard. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both things just by drawing a circle around it. And I want to group these. You could do command or control G or you can do, go to edit group and just select group. Okay. So now when I go to select it, both things are selected. Okay. Now we're going to start animating it. So we're going to take this and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to rotate it. So to animate, 
we need to click on the transform tool over on the left. And right now, if I go to spin this or rotate it, it's going to rotate from the middle. We don't want that. So we're going to take this circle in the middle and we're going to move it, oops, click and drag it up to our X. Okay. Now, when I go just past that corner box there, I can rotate it. It'll, you'll see that those two curved lines and I want it to point to that first line. Okay. Then what I'm going to do, and I made this a little bit big, so I'm just going to make it a little bit smaller. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do command C for copying. And then I'm going to go to the next frame and I'm going to do command V. All right. Then I'm going to, with my rotation tool, I'm going to rotate it down very slightly to the next line. Then I'm going to do Command C, go to the next one, Command V, go down a little bit. Then I'm going to copy it. And you could do the edit, copy, edit, paste, but Command or Control C, and then go into the next frame and Command and Control V is the shortcut. Then I'm going to move it down. Command C, Command V, and I have to do, I have to rotate it to every line that I have right now. Command C, next frame, Command V. Command C in the next frame over. And I forgot to tell you, you can click on the next frame over or you can use the period on your keyboard and that'll go to the next frame. And then Command V. And Command C, next frame over, Command V. So there's a lot of shortcuts you can get used to, but you don't have to know them all right this second. Command C, next frame, Command V. Go to the next one, Command C, Command V, Command C. So it's very repetitive until we get to this last one. Command C, next one, Command V. And we have to move it up to the red. So good news is that's all the work you have to do because we can copy and paste this now. So to copy all of these frames, what you do is you select them by going beyond, one beyond it, to the next blank frame. You're going to click on it, don't let go, and drag, and do copy, command C, go to the very next frame, and then right click, and then do paste reverse. Okay, so once we paste them in reverse, did that go all the way to the last one? I'm going to, for some reason, there's something I'm doing wrong that doesn't do the first frame. So I'm going to copy and paste just that first frame. Okay, so now if I loop it, and I can end my animation. Right now my animation's all the way up at frame 60. So if I end it on the last frame, and I hit the loop button here. Now I can loop it back and forth. All right, and it's going pretty fast. It's hard to see the ease in and ease out. So we can actually slow this down. I'll show you how to do this. You don't necessarily have to, but I'm gonna move this to make my animation longer. I'm gonna select the first, the last frame, hold shift and select the first frame. This will be easier. And then I'm gonna right click on all of them I'm going to go to Exposure, Set to 2. All right, and you'll see that it doubled them up. And then I could extend the exposure of my arc, my path. And then I want to take this red bar and I want to end my animation. So again, if you want to see it now, it's a little bit slower.
All right, and I probably need to end my animation where that last frame is. Let's see if this works. There we go, and that's it. So the next step is to export our animation and turn it in because right now the only people that can see our animation are the people that have Toon Boom.